guys how to remove a stuck drill bit from a te7 hilti hammer drill i lent it to one of my guys and he managed to get that thing stuck in there so it won't come off pull this one down try to pull it off it won't come off so first thing you do is you remove the rubber boot in front with a screwdriver take that out that exposes this and that Take a pair of snap ring pliers and remove the snap ring. The camera won't focus. There, take that out. Then that takes this out. That exposes that ball bearing. You know, just move the sleeve down, and ball bearing pops out. Once the ball bearing is out, take these three pieces out, including the spring. As you can see, that's where it's stuck on the inside. It won't come out. The ball bearing really has nothing to do with it anymore. It's shoved too far back inside this collar, so I've got to remove that collar as well. Trust the old snap ring pliers, takes this out, and the spring pops it up. Take that out. That takes the collar out and more ball bearings to remove. After you remove that and the ball bearings, the ball assembly pops out, exposes to where that bit is stuck into. So we're gonna try to remove that now basically what he did was he mushroomed the bit so I can get it out so I took a soft blow hammer and kind of tapped it in there and so I can get to that portion right there and cut that off or grind it off I'll be able to remove that and we'll be back in business for this I'm using my trusty sawzall with a torch blade to cut that mushroom tip off all right tip is gone Let's see if it pops off. We're just gonna use a crescent wrench and start tapping that with a hammer. Not a hammer, but a soft little hammer like so, and pop that thing out. And she's out. Reassembly time. I guess now would be a good time to clean all the shavings out. Okay, just leave back on. We're gonna put the ball bearings back on. Because the hardest part is not to drop the ball bearings. Both sides. Put the cap back on. Collar back on. We'll put the spring back on. And then we'll put the snap ring back on. Oh, by the way, the collar has a special shape. It only fits one way. And then on the other side, those are the two notches where the ball bearing right there should fall into. Then we'll put the spring and the snap ring back. Snap ring with the snap ring back in place and the spring down there, that's what it's supposed to look like. Now I'm putting the spring back on, the collar and that notch. That's where the ball bearing sits inside the notch on the, the back side of it and locks that in place. With the ball bearing securely fastened, we put the the chuck remove quick release back on and we put the snap ring back in place and then we should be back in business oh we have to put the boot back on too final step okay there it is with the snap ring inside in place now we can move the collar back and forth we should be able to release that ball bearing to release the chuck out now and jam is cleared 
to put the boot back. Just shove it up down on the floor and just put your weight on it. And we'll just shove that boot right back in there. Just as good as new. And we're back in business. There you have it. Back in. Straight. Move. Just pop this thing out. And out he pops. Oh, thought I helped you out. Have a good day.